from Brian, should Christians be burning incense and putting holy water on their doors and windows to get rid of demonic spirits? No. No, you should not. That borders on paganism. Water is not mystical. It has no demonic powers, some sort of combatant that makes demons flee. God can sanctify water. You and I cannot, through an incantation or through prayer, turn water into a powerful sort of anti-demonic force. What do we do to deal with demons if it does not involve some sort of an incantation or a speaking or rebuking or using water that we think is holy? Good question. We take a look at what the New Testament says about demonic activity, starting with Jesus, who does indeed have the power to rebuke demons. We see that very clearly. Why can he do that? Because he's Jesus. Did he give that authority to the apostles? Yes, but we see that ability dwindling out, sputtering along, and then ultimately having a nail put into the demonic warfare coffin in the book of Jude. Do you recall the seven sons of Sceva in the book of Acts? They gave it a go. They engaged in some sort of spiritual warfare with demons, and they were asked, Who are you? We know Jesus. We know Paul. We don't know you. And they ripped them to shreds, forcing them to run out of the house sans clothing. Then you scoot over to the book of Jude, and we see a scene that is not described in the Old Testament, but it is a part of inspired writ. We see a little bit of a battle over the body of Moses, the archangel Michael, and Satan. Did Michael, the archangel, throw holy water at the devil? No. He didn't even dare rebuke him. Why? Because the devil is powerful. And he could do to us what was done to the seven sons of Sceva. Therefore, in reading the progressive revelation of the New Testament, yep, Jesus and the apostles, they had the authority to do that, but we don't even see it much. And then at all, and then ultimately we're told, don't be doing that. So how do we deal then with demons? We can take a look at a chapter in the Bible that deals specifically with spiritual warfare. Ephesians chapter 6 gets into exactly how it is that we're supposed to deal with demonic forces. It is not in your flesh. It is not with an incantation or with some sort of oil. Instead, it is with the Word of God. Then it's with the Word of God. Then you follow up with the Word of God, and then you use the Word of God, and you complete it by using the Word of God. In other words, you fill your heart with God thoughts, and then demonic thoughts vanish. When we use the word on our hearts, not using the Bible even as some sort of formula or incantation to somehow talk to the devil, I do not advise that. I think that we see that pretty clear with the Archangel Michael. Instead, we fill our hearts with Bible, and then their ability to get to us is diminished a lot. What about an individual who appears to be demon-possessed? First of all, let's remember a true Christian cannot be possessed by a demon. The Holy Spirit resides in the heart of the believer, and he does not share space with demons. But you meet somebody who actually is demon-possessed. What should you do? Great question. The answer is... Oh yeah, the word. We, we preach the word. How does a demon disappear from a human being's body? I do not believe we are given a formula or the authority to somehow exercise it out of a human being. Instead, you preach the gospel to the person. You speak God's word to the person. That individual, if they get saved, then the devil goes scooting because he does not cohabitate with the Holy Spirit. Word, 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 word. Use the word, applying it to your heart, to an individual who might be influenced by demons. That is the power that God himself flexes to deal with demons. Do, 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 do,
Thank you for calling technical support. This is Todd Friel, the wretch. The song refers to, could I possibly put you on hold for a moment? Todd, we have talked about this. You cannot answer the phone this way. Right ho. Thank you for calling technical support. This is Todd Friel, the wretch. The song refers to. <laughs>